guys, I'm not going to lie. I think Samantha handled that situation a lot better than I thought she would have in them things there. I thought she would have kicked off like football games. Do you know, like, I thought she would have had furniture moving in there. Do you know them ones there? Bossing up things like, I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. You know them ones there? Because that's what she said tonight. But but you know what? She composed herself like like musicians do and them things there. And do you know what? She just shed a little eye water and them things there. She was, I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. That's what she was. Do you know what? I feel for her a little bit, but I don't feel for her a lot because the science was all there. The science was written on the wall. You know them ones there talking about she wants to walk. She better get to walking. Why is she talking about it? Walk it like it, talk it. Walk it like it, talk it. Walk it like it, talk it. <laughs> Oh my God, I don't feel sorry for her, even though I do a little bit, but I'm gonna get into it, yeah? But let's start off with this whole Joey and um, this Grace situation. I'm blinded by your grace. Let's start with that situation. I'm not blinded by this situation, I swear, wallahi. Man must think man's like Stevie Wonder and them things there. This whole storyline is manufactured, bruv. It's faker than Ronnie's hairline, than Ronnie's barnet, bruv. It is not real. It's faker than Harriet, Sam, and Jess's lips all put together and them things there. It's fake as hell. I don't believe it, man. The way, bro, nah, bro, nah, bro. And you know what's mad as well, yeah? Joey's already a big celebrity, a big star and them things there. We don't need to see how his love life's gonna play out on Love Island. This is for like ordinary people, them things there. This is an idiot thing if you ask me. I wanna know what you guys think about this. Are you like, are you buying this? Anyway, the episode started here yeah, with him chatting to Grace. The brother's been grinning from ear to ear since this girl walked in, bruv. That's how you know he knows her and them things there. The brother's got the flipping, um, the, 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 the Christmas Grinch grin and them things there from ear to ear. My man's showing more teeth than flipping Tiffany. And that's hard to do, bro. <laughs> For one second, I thought he borrowed her tea and them things there. That Grace girl coming into the yard, yeah, beamed him up like Scotty. He's been just glowing like a lantern and them things there. And he's just got a constant recce, just walking around just like this. Just tea, just, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> My man, yo! Joey's a cool guy. Obviously, lovable personality, lovable person and all that. But this is, you know what I'm saying? I don't think Love Island is the place for this. And I can't believe... You know what? The nation is going to buy into this. This is pure stupidness, man. Uma, Gala Ums, I haven't called her that in a while. You know Uma, you know she got a bare nickname for people. What is it? Jojo, um, what she called Mimi, Mims. <laughs> Bro, she got bare name for people. Um, she called Omar Ohms. Now she's calling a new Will guy, Willie, Big Willie, yeah? She's calling him Wilbo now. <laughs> Wilbo. <laughs> Bro. Bro, I don't know what's wrong with this girl. Someone needs to literally, I swear down, that nickname Ooms needs to stick to her. Because, yo, how can she be doing it to everyone? No one's giving her a nickname. I would have said, yo, Ooms, let me talk to you for a minute. She would have been like, what's wrong with you? Mm. <laughs> Listen, nah, 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 nah. But her and, um, her and Will, yeah, bro, they, they've hit it off. They've hit it off like a flipping... Um, uh, a, a batsman at a test match and them things there. They've proper like, you know, like she's loving him. I don't know if it's the hue of his skin that she love him more. Even though later on she came back and said to Omar, she when she came back, do you know what? I like the reception between, um, I mean, the connection between her and Omar. Stronger than fiber optics and them things there. She came back and she gave him a little hug and them things there. And she like, oh, um, she just wants, she wants to let him know that I think like she's still... He's still in contention in the race and them things there. She wants to let him know. But I think she's just keeping her options open. Because she's a pretty girl, yeah? I think she, she's used to having beer man just chasing her like a thief and stuff. Do you know what I mean? So I think she's just keeping Omar there. Because just having this Wilbur guy with his dry haircut and them things there, it's not going to do, in it? So she got, you know what I'm saying? She got Wilbo there. Wilbo, you know? And then she got Ohms. You know what I'm saying? Bro, it's... I, I don't even think she likes... Either of them that much. Do you know what I'm saying? I just think Wilbo <laughs> is closer to like what she usually goes for. And you know what makes sense about this whole Joey and Gracie things as well? I was told it's just fake, bruv, yeah? Yes, he's been coupled up with Samantha, but no girl's really tried to approach him. He didn't try to move to no other girl, no nothing. It's like he was waiting for this girl just to specifically come in the yard. I'm not buying it, man. Low me, bro. Low it, fam. Man like Kieran, he had to go find his kahunas because he's been looking for them for the last 24 hours because he's been trying to break into this gal, spill, spill the beans to her about how he really wanted to kiss Grace in the challenge, but he had to settle for her and them things there. Bro, do you know what the mad thing is? Yeah, before I get into that, I can't believe these two guys. He's, what, 21? And she's like, 
25, I don't know how old she is, but bro, they look like middle ages. She looks like the sun is just giving her an uppercut on them things there. She just looks, she looks like, she looks like she's closer to 40 and them things there. I'm not even being, you know what I'm saying? And him, I don't know, bro. They just aim like flipping sour milk and them things there, but I'm not sure. Anyway, <laughs> but anyway, Kieran had to break it to her, yeah, that obviously he was feeling a thing in the challenge and he wanted to kiss her, bro, and she made a whole... A big meal on this whole oh, floor. You know them ones there, like, eat that thing, bro. He didn't even have to tell her. She told him he's immature like Marcus Houston and them man there. You know that meant like back in the days. And then she walked away on some on some Craig David thing, you know what I'm saying? From all the troubles in her life. She walked away and then her and the other miserable hyenas, the miserable ostriches, the heifers. You know how misery, misery loves company. Her, um, 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 her, what is it? Her, Jess. And the heifers, they just all went and, and, and combined and, you know what I mean? Made, you know, no, no, what they do. Misery loves company. All them gal there with the, with the fake lips, with the Botox lips, bro. Having like a, their plastic party, like their little Tupperware party and stuff, yeah? Just sat there, just, bro. I think Nicole was doing too much. I'm not going to lie. Like, like I said, Kira didn't have to tell her. I think she just wanted to like, I don't know. Move, Nicole, man. You're an idiot. You don't, your storyline ain't even interesting. It's dry. Allow it. See, Uma, yeah? Why is she always, like, when it comes to, like, kissing and stuff, yeah? Why is she always, like, saying she's, like, slow when it comes to them things there? But I swear she kissed Ronnie in the nightclub just for meeting and them things there, swapping salivas and stuff. Ronnie, you know, this brother, you just kissed him off, off the rip like that. But everyone else, oh, yeah, you're a slow burner. Like, moving like Sage and them things there. Like... What? The way these hyenas this episode, yeah, were just gassing up. They, bro, they were gassing up, gassing up um, Samantha like EDF, like just putting a battery in her back. Just deluding her head about the whole Joey situation and them things there. Bro, Joey has never... Do you know what? He could have handled this whole situation a lot better and them things there, yeah? But he's never... I, 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 remind me what episode where he said that he wanted her and them things there. Remember, she's the fan. She is the fan. She's the one with his autographs. She's the one knowing about all his life and them things there. She's the 69 God. She, it's her. She always knew she was going to be in this position. But, bro, you know when these girls just live in their little bubbles in their head? That's what they all do, all these girls. Like, even Harriet. I love Harriet as well, yeah? She's just as delusional as they come as well, thinking Ronnie is going to be loyal to her. Ronnie can't even be loyal to your scalp and them things there. You think he's going to be loyal to you? Come and allow it, bro. These girls, like... Bro, and you know what? One more thing as well. Harriet's hair. Wow. <laughs> Harriet's hair is just mad. Why can't someone tell her? She looks like she'd be riding a motorbike without a helmet and them things there. You know them ones there in a hundred miles an hour wind? Just, just mashing up her hair. Her hair just looks furious. You know them ones there? <laughs> like he's doing gang signs and stuff it's just mad the layers are not layering it just looks chaotic it just looks hectic up there you know them ones there someone needs to help her man that's dread man they keep zooming in on it as well <laughs> they keep zooming in on it they're doing the gal dirty i'm telling you but harry is good people still huh? <laughs> oh my god her hair is wilder than jumanji but the guys came back from the villa that they went to and all them things this little sleepover villa they came back and a debrief was setting them things there. Obviously, Joey went and told the guys, whatever, whatever. The girls, oh my God, if looks could kill. And you know, like Samantha, you know, I've always called her Stifler's mum. She's got that, I don't know, I feel like she's got that stone, that Stonehenge kind of face. You know them ones there? Her face looks like, you know, like Mount Rushmore. It looks like, it looks like, no, no, it looks cool. She looks like she could kill with the, with her looks and them things there. Obviously, she had her glasses on, but you can tell through the glasses when Grace was telling a story and stuff. Especially when Grace was talking about how they picked off from where they left off last year and them things there. And how they've they've clicked like floor tiles and stuff. And, yo, she wants to, I'm telling you, she wants to move something around there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ronnie, this quagmire brother, Lord Farcard, yeah? Bro, this brother, yeah? I swear down. He, this guy, yeah, you gotta rate him sometime. His game is mad. I don't know what they see in him. I don't know if these girls got bare muku in their eyes and their eyes are a bit coated. They got cataracts in it and them things there. I don't know what it is, but there's loads of them. Maybe it's a Ronnie symptom they got. God knows. I don't know. This guy looks like a Turkish helmet. But anyway, Ronnie came back and he told um, my girl straight away, Harriet, that him and Mummy Shark, um, the girl Tiffany, they kissed and they had a little moment, the ambience was right, the light was dim and them things there, and they had a little moment and stuff. And Harriet is such a, 
Harry is just soft. She's like, baby, do you soft? You know them ones there? Harry was just like, okay, cool. Like, okay. Oh, thanks for telling me and all them things there. With her hair just looking like that's wild and stuff. Do you know what I mean? And, bro, it's, cr it's crazy, bro. It's crazy. Like, this is why she's going to get stepped over. Like, welcome back to them things. They just, man's going to just wipe their feet on her. Because how are you taking that? You should have just grabbed his hair and just ripped it off. <laughs> No, it's not real. Like, <laughs> if I was dating Ronnie and he peed me off one day, I will wait till he's in public and take off his hairpiece. <laughs> Say it. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Samantha, Samantha was crying in it ever since they come back, as you heard about how the, she knows the whole Joey and Grace thing. See, a lot of people feel sorry for Samantha, yeah? I feel sorry for her as well, on a human level, yeah? I do feel sorry for her, because you don't want to see people in tears and crying and all that stuff, yeah? But she played herself. Congratulations, you played yourself. She played herself, I'm telling you. Listen, yeah? Joey, like like she said, Joey's a PDA person. A lot of people are saying that on Essex. I don't watch one of them things there. They say he's a PDA person. He shows a lot of, like, affection outside and kisses, hugs, and holds people's hands. He has never done any of that with you. None of that. He's, bro, I, nobody ever thought her and Ronnie, um, her and Joey was ever going to be together. She always came across as a fan, as like, oh, somebody, sir, can I have your autograph? You know them Oliver Twist kind of, can I have, can I have some more kind of people? You know them ones there, beggy, beggy. She always come across like a fan. So for you as a fan to think you're going to get with your idol, that's already weird. All right, you're in Love Island where people got a couple up, you're coupled up with them, sleeping in the same bed. That's as far as you're going to get. Don't think there was anything going to come out of this. And the reality it just blossomed upon her when a very, very nice girl, that's probably the kind of girl that he would go for, in reality, other than this Jody Shaw, Samantha looking girl, yeah? Like, it's hit her that, yo, it's just, you know, you know when the truth just, you know when you smell the truth, is, you know when you smell the truth of them things there? You know when you smell what the rock is cooking? <laughs> that's what, like, I feel bad for her, like I said, on a human level, but I don't feel like Joey sold her any... Do you know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong, when he came back, or before he went, he could have spoke to her and made her feel a bit better and them things there. But yo, she's a grown woman, man. Allow it. No, them ones there. Anyway, she was crying on the terrace. And um, Jess, it's the best thing she's ever done this whole series, yeah? Jess was comforting her and all them things there, make her feel better and stuff. Joey came looking for her. And, bro, he got sent back like return mail. I swear down, wallahi, they sent him back. And and then after, he went and done this whole dramatic thing where he started walking around in circles and the cameras captured him. This guy's an actor. Man, I should start calling him Giuseppe and them things there. <laughs> this guy's an actor, blood, trust me. He's, bro, he knows, bro, he knows the cameras are there. Anyway, nighttime comes. You know how the nighttime comes? Because the nighttime is the right time. Joey and, um... Sam eventually had their chat. And she's like, I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. That's what she kept saying though, the whole episode. She's embarrassed and she was saying she feels like a placeholder and them things there. And Joey's right. Facts. As soon as that girl walked in here, yeah, Grace, yeah, literally, she didn't even attempt to, to even try with Joey or even, she just gave up hope. She just, she, she might as well just walked out. She keeps talking about, oh, I feel like walking out. Walk out, man. Cut. I hate when people just say stuff and don't do it. You should just, Go! And did you know back in Big Brother, I can't remember back in the day, someone just scaled a fence and them things there. That's what you should be doing. Don't talk about it, be about it. You know them ones there? Like, Joey told her. When, as, like, do you know what is it? I actually genuinely think Joey cares for her as a person, as a friend, not as a partner. But that's why he's saying to her at the end, like, let me be there for you. And she's like, oh, oh fuck off, fuck off. <laughs> shut up, man. Shut up, man. I don't know, dash a baby seat at her. Like, shut up. <laughs> Shut up, man. She's chatting put, man. Then she asked Uma how um, Joey and the girl, Grace, was in the other house here. And Uma just rubbed the salt in the wound. Uma just telling her the truth. She weren't doing it to be, like, spiteful and them things there. She's just like, yeah, there was how you would have wanted to be with him. <laughs> wow! You know that was there? Sean, I swear down. Sean is another brother, yeah? He should just... He needs to walk. I'm actually sick of this shoot now. Like... I know a couple of people find him cute, furry, and just like, you know what I'm saying, cuddly and them things there. Bruv, I find him irritating. I just want to dash something at him. He was chatting to the gal again today about pick and mix and what flavours she likes and sherbets and them things. <laughs> <laughs> bruv, pick and mix, bruv. 
Again. Bro, again. Anyway, Grace and Sam spoke things out and Sam was letting her know it's not her fault, it's Joey's fault. Grace was like, yo, I didn't want to come in here and make you think, oh, very rare and all right, cool, they spoiled it out. And then Ronnie also told Mommy Shark and um, some um, Tiffany, the girl with the big teeth and them things there, that yo, if we have to couple up, I'm gonna pick you. And and bro, we oh, Harriet, bro, Harriet's gonna be Harriet's just gonna be get she's gonna get left on the side like fish bones. I'm telling you. And she don't even know it. She ain't even know it. She ain't even know it. Then Joey and Grace had a little snuggy, snuggy little a little nice session outside. Joey, the way Joey kisses that girl, they're more than just, he, listen, Joey slapped his whole lips on her and them things there. They were kissing and obviously, a couple of the girls saw it. Sam didn't see it, but the brethren feel like they had to break it to her. This is what I don't understand about these dumb hyenas, these emus. These are some featherless birds here, yeah? I swear down, they got no sense. Bro, not everything you've got to tell your friend. Certain things you can just hold to protect them. Do you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you can lie to tell the truth. Sometimes you can tell it. You know what I mean? You know, you know what I'm talking about? You ain't got to tell it. She's going through a lot at that moment. So, so you thought you'd just twist the knife in a bit more. I don't get it. I don't get it. What do you guys think? I don't get it at all. Like, I don't think they should have said anything to her. Do you know what I mean? Just as you should have said together, do you know what? Let's not tell her. But I don't know. Maybe it's just so for entertainment. I don't know. I'm not too sure. But guys, let me know what you think about the episode. I thought it was dry. Basuda. You know what I'm saying? But you know how it goes.